Hey everybody, Kevin P. McAuliffe here, and I'm one of the senior editors at MyJo in Toronto, and I am back again with another quick tip. And this time we're going to take a look at a great quick tip for all of you Avid Media Composer users out there. And it's a little trick that I like to call the Rocky Effect. Now you know the effect that I'm talking about. The effect of putting moving video inside of text. Now most people might think as soon as you think of something like that, oh, that's something that we got to go out and do an After Effects or another compositing program. Well, you know what? Media Composer is pretty versatile and it's actually very simple to do inside of the application. So why leave it when you don't have to? Let me show you how simple it is. I'm just going to Command Tab into Avid's Media Composer. And as you can see over here, I have three elements. I have my dancing word mark. And then I have some video of a dancing girl here just kind of shaking around some of those glow sticks. And last but certainly not least, I have a white background that this is going to go on. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is I want to edit in my dancing footage. Now, this is just a standard Media Composer title. I did it in Marquee, but you could just use the standard title tool as well. And I'll just make this about 10 seconds, which I think is good enough. I'll mark an out point. I'm going to press B on both Mac and Windows to edit that into my timeline. And now what I'm going to do is something that most people don't actually think about. What I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to step into this effect. So I'm just going to come down here to my step in arrow. And once I do, you're going to see that we now can see what's going on with the alpha. We can see what's going on with the fill, which in this case is white. Now, because the text is white on black, the fill here is white. Well, what I want to do is I want to replace it with the footage of that dancing girl. So what I'm going to do is drag it up here into the window. I'm simply going to mark an endpoint here, and I'm going to remove this graphic fill layer and replace it with video. And now as soon as I do, when I step out, you can now see that our dancing girl is inside of the text. So you can see what might seem to be a very complicated effect is actually made very simple inside of Avid's Media Composer. Now I do want to show you one other thing. I'm just going to create a new video track by pressing Command and Y on the Mac, Control and Y on Windows. And we're just going to take this clip and we're just going to edit it onto that channel. And what I want to do is I want to put in my white background here just so that we can have our obviously dancing word mark on white. Because I do want to show you that if I come in here, you can see there we go. I want to make this stand out a little bit from the white background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into effects mode. Now for me, effects mode is shift and Y on my keyboard. Or you can simply come up here to effects mode right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to promote this title because remember, it's still a title. The only thing we've done is change the fill. I'm just going to promote this title to 3D. And now what I'm going to do is come up and put a little bit of a drop shadow on it, just like that. And you can see that we've now added a super extra layer of realism to this effect without actually having to leave the editing application at all. Now I could obviously take this if I wanted to, you know, and have it come over here. And at this point, maybe what we'll do is, you know, we'll just adjust the position off frame just like this. Let's don't, not take it too far here. That's not too bad. And what we'll do down here at the end is we'll just do it the other way here. I'll just add a keyframe and we'll say, plus 1041, just like that. And now what's going to happen is, just like in the movie Rocky, our dancing word mark is going to move across the screen with our dancing girl in it. Like I said before, why need to go to Adobe's After Effects when you don't have to? So if you have any quick tips or questions, feel free to send them to me at kevinpmcauliffe at gmail.com. This has been Kevin P. McAuliffe. Thanks a lot for watching.